we finish here last time. Last time we started to discuss the basics of uh, operational amplifier. Uh, following is a circuit, all palm circuit. Now we start from a ideal linear, linear operational amplifier circuit. It is called operational amplifier because this uh, the type of device can be used to implement many operational functions. This is why. Here I give you some examples like uh, inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier, differential amplifier, instrumentation amplifier, Holland circuit. Actually, there are many more different um, um, different functions based on operational amplifier. We uh, uh, in the following we discuss uh, those uh, those five. Well, I can't do everything. So for circuit analysis, we use uh, those uh, symbols: input impedance for input impedance. If we talk about uh, op-amp itself. This is a small ri. If we talk about uh, circuit input impedance, we use a bigger capital ri. So output impedance is the same for op op-amp itself is a small r zero. For circuit is a capital r zero. For gain, it's a small for op-amp, capital for circuit. The simplest uh, amplifier based on OPAM is the inverting amplifier. Right. That is uh, OPAM there. We have uh, three resistors. This is the input, that is feedback, that is uh, to ground. <coughs> well, we assume OPAM is ideal. Now, when we assume OPAM is ideal, that means the input impedance is infinite, zero output is zero, and open loop gain is infinite. Now let's see how can we work out the closed loop gain. Uh, we talk about infinite uh, open loop gain there. Uh, when we have a close, have a feedback, what is the gain of this circuit? What is the input impedance of this circuit? input impedance, what is output impedance? Overall circuit, I consider this a circuit. What is the output impedance? Because there is no current through R3. Uh, you look here, because no current here. If I consider if current, there is no current there. So because no current, uh, no, no voltage drop. So if here is zero, here must be, zero, yes, that is a potential must be zero. Because the open loop gain is uh, infinite, uh, we uh, actually we discussed uh, this before, you have a certain voltage there because your gain here is infinite. So there must be zero. Uh, with the feedback uh, must be zero. And here we call it, this is a virtual ground. This is not exactly you connect to ground, but the potential is zero. That's why we call this, we call this is a virtual, virtual ground, right? Virtual ground, right? Um, according to Kirchhoff current law, we can write the equation to describe current through R1 and R2. Uh, we know this potential is the VI. Here is a zero. So the potential across this uh, resistor, that is uh, VI divided by R1. So that is uh, a current, current here. According to Kirchhoff current law, this current must go away from this point. Uh, there is no current there because this uh, input impedance is very high. So no current there. There is only one way to go. This current will flow to this way. That is a current. Now let's work out what is a current there. 
the potential here is zero. The potential there is uh, VO. That is uh, zero minus VO. I divide by R2. That is a uh, current here. So according to Kirchhoff current law, this current, this current, this one, this one must be the same. So I use uh, a big, big link, equal. It uh, must be equal. So now I have this equation, this uh, VI minus zero divided by R1 equals zero, uh, zero minus VO divided by R2. I have this equation. Yeah, I, actually this is not really useful, not really useful now. Now I can easily work out what is a VO, VO equals minus, R2 divided by R1 times VI. So now the output um, of a circuit we can find like this. If we uh, work out a closed loop gain, that is a VO divided by VI equals minus R2 divided by R1. So uh, simply I move to this side. So we did um, one now. Uh, now we find out what is a closed loop gain of this circuit that is a minus R2 over R1. The next task is uh, input impedance. To work out input impedance, there is a golden rule. Step one, apply a test voltage at input point. Step two, found input current. Step three, work out the ratio of test voltage to input current. That is input uh, uh, impedance. Okay, we're back to this uh, circuit. Yeah. If we apply a test voltage VI, yeah, right, we can work out what is the input current. Uh, input current already we work out. This is the input current, that is a I equals this. Uh, next, we need to work out the ratio VI over I. So simply, I move around, I move this to that side, move this to that side. So I can work out VI divided by I equals R1. So that is a ratio, that is a input impedance of this circuit. The input impedance of this circuit is not very large, is R1. R1 normally is a how many kilo ohm. Uh, very uh, rare is how many mega ohm or how, how many ohm. Normally is how many kilo ohm. If you remember, for OPAM itself, the input impedance is very, very high, is infinite. But with this circuit, the input impedance is no longer very high, but is only R1. Task three, how to calculate output impedance. Okay. The golden rule is surprise all original input. If it is a voltage, take off voltage source and connect terminal to ground. If it is a current, take off current source and leave the terminal open. Well, actually, we discussed this before. Now with this circuit, how can we surprise the voltage input? Originally, we have an input voltage here. That is a VI originally. Now we take this off, we connect this point to ground. Put a dot connect this uh, to ground. Right. Uh, step, step two, apply a test voltage at output terminal. That's, that's, uh, you, you need to apply a voltage VT here. This is your test voltage. And then work out the induced current from test voltage. You need to work out what is the current here? What is the current? The ratio of test voltage and uh, resulting current is output impedance of a circuit. Right. 
Now we follow those uh, two steps as of with this um, this uh, inverting amplifier circuit here. We follow those steps. Step one, we already we done. Uh, we take off input uh, input voltage VI, connect to this point to ground, the pass a voltage there. We try to uh, work out what is the current, right? We uh, previously we discussed this is a zero. That is a zero. And uh, if uh, here is a zero and here is also zero, that is ground. Right? Uh, because no potential difference there, that there, there is no current. Okay? Here, the current is zero, no current. If here, no current, here is also no current, that is zero. Therefore, on this branch there, this is a no current. Okay, this uh, current is zero. Right. If uh, here the current is, is zero, that means the potential here, here is also the same. The potential here is zero because no current, there is no potential drop. So here is also zero. Now imagine if here potential is zero, you apply a test voltage, what happened? You apply a test voltage. This current would be infinite, very, very large. This current would approach to infinite. Right. Now we can work out the ratio. This ratio is Vt divided by I. Uh, Vt is a certain value I divided by this current now is infinite, that is zero. That means the output impedance of the amplifier is zero. The next few pages is exercise. Uh, we give this later. Exercise 10, exercise 11. Okay, we finish uh, today.